That should be him barking, so it sounds like he's right there. That would be him. Oh, he looks actually really good. He's got like a huge head. 16 to 17, max weight. So guys, we're out here in the Hunter Classic once again, and today we're here on Typical Trails for another trophy hunt video, and I usually start these out in the Trophy Lodge, but I didn't really want to spend uh, the amount of camping supplies it would take to get up here to the mountains for some bighorn sheep hunting. So we're starting up here, obviously, uh, and the goal is to get at least a 160 plus bighorn. I really want a 180 plus, but I at least want to get a 160 in there uh, as a baseline, so we're probably going to do that as long as it takes, and then we'll go down to the south side of the map and see if we can get some bear or anything like that. Looks like we do have a male bighorn sheep out here, though. I'm going to grab the spotting scope, because that looks somewhat decent. I don't think he was huge, but it might have been okay. Yeah, probably in the 140s. So if we can find a spot where we can actually see a little bit better, we'll go for the shot uh, with the 300 carbon. That's not going to be an easy spot to slip a shot into, though. We might have a chance, if we can see uh, with no grass, we might be able to get something here. And actually, there's a spot uh, without grass, so if he hasn't moved... Let's get through this last bit of grass, and I think he might just be moving. Yeah, he moved behind that rock. But he is walking. There we go. Alright. Let's go for the shot then. And he is down. I think there was a female there as well. Oh, there she is. And if I can get my breath back in time. That was definitely a hit. I probably shouldn't even shot, because now I'm going to have to follow her, but... I don't think she'll go far even with a body hit using the 300 carbon. But I'm actually not sure if I've ever used this gun in a video before. I don't remember uh, ever using it. I just got it when it was on sale a while back. Uh, I've just been kind of hanging on to it. And I thought it would be a good gun to bring out here for the bighorn sheep. It's a big caliber so I don't have to hit them uh, really great. Which can happen on the run which we really just actually showed that. But yeah I think this guy's going to be in the 140s. And he is just barely 140.316. And we got a neck bone shot on him. I thought we were... Kind of far back, that's somewhat interesting, but let's see if we got that female. And she really didn't even make it all that far, we're just over the top of the mountain, we shot her just back there. Uh, so we'll grab her, and then we're going to head back uh, to where we just were. Right hind leg at 140 meters, and she had a one and a half minute uh, wound time. 36 score on her, jeez, that scared me. I don't. <laughs> that sound it made when it fell down the hill really got me. Uh, but anyway, we're going to hunt on the back side, I haven't uh, showed on the map where we are. We're going to hunt on the back side of this hill, you can see the little circle I've done so far, I'm probably going to work. Uh, my way down like this, and then I'll hunt the normal area that I do uh, around the train tracks. We've actually got a few ptarmigan here, which I probably have like level 1 spotting on. I never uh, actually get to see these guys. Yeah, that's a male, and I think they look the same, male and female. Maybe the females don't have uh, the red above their eyes. Yeah, both of those are males, so ideally, we want them both. Oh, there's even a third one down there. I mean, this one looks physically the biggest to me, so I guess we'll take it and then see what happens. If I can get lined up. Alright, cool. Those didn't leave. I mean, this one actually does look a little bit fatter, so I guess I'll take it next. Once I get my breath back. There we go. And... And why not? Alright, cool. Got all three. Uh, if there are any... I don't even know what a big um, white tail timer is. I think 400-ish is somewhat decent. Uh, we'll see what we get for the scores on these. I might just mount one just to have it there because... I'm probably not going to kill many of these guys, and we just had three, and at least two males, so at least there's that. Uh, although, I'm pretty sure the females can be as big as the males, so maybe that doesn't even mean anything. Either this one is somewhat decent, or I don't know what a decent sized white tail ptarmigan is. Uh, I won't mount anything since we just shot three of them. I'm going to wait until the end, and then I'll mount anything that I think is good. We'll just mount maybe the best one we have for the entire hunt. This one was actually a male as well, and a 426, so it's a good thing we didn't mount the first one. And I'm going to have to check the leaderboards maybe and see, but I thought like 487 or something like that uh, was the max for the whitetails. And another 400 plus, 418. I can't seem to remember what the actual good score is, so maybe three somewhat decent ones, maybe not even close, but not bad either way. I've been tracking this guy for way too long, but I do believe he'll be in the 160s. 130 to 210 on the score estimate, and he's actually turning towards us. That's quite nice of him. Let's see if we can get something lined up. Uh, I might let him stop. Uh, yeah, that'll work. I don't know how that was an instant drop. I felt like that was right in the chest, but he is down now, so I'm actually interested to see where that ended up hitting, but I'm assuming at least that was the one that I've been tracking across, like, the entire map. He's max weight, uh, although my tracking is not all that high. Uh, I had 75 to 120 as the estimate, but he looks somewhat decent. Actually, when I saw him in the distance, I thought for a second he could be uh, in the 180s, but he is definitely not that big. 
He's not bad, though. I, like I said, I think he'll top 160, so I might hunt around a little bit more. Uh, I might go down to the track still just because I was planning on hunting Bighorn until I got at least one over 160, and I do believe we've already accomplished that, and we're not even that far into the video, so we'll just grab him and probably just go straight to the tracks. We're actually pretty much back to where we started once again. This guy... Oh. Uh, it's not the one I'm tracking. Well, I guess I'll go track that one, but... The one that I've been tracking at least led me in circles. That's kind of disappointing. I really thought I finally got that accomplished. And I got completely fooled by his score as well. He's only a 148, and we got Skull and Shoulder Blade somehow uh, with that shot. That is kind of sad. I thought he was bigger than that, although when I saw that curl when I got up close, I kind of realized he wasn't as big as I thought, but at least we've still got a chance with the one that I've been following. So I've managed to completely lose track of the sheep that I was tracking. We've got this one here, which might actually be it. I don't even know, but based on the weight, uh, I would say that's not the case. We'll spot it one more time uh, with the scope. It's 55 to 100, so there's a chance. But he is down. I kind of got on a fleeing track uh, of the one that I was following after shooting the last one. By the way, I looped around again to the same spot um, where we just shot the other male. You can see uh, where I was tracking this one uh, on my hunter mate. I assume it was an old track uh, because none of those tracks were making any sense. But if we get up here... And see, it's the one I've been tracking. I won't even be that upset if it's not that big. And actually, by the looks of it, I think it is yet another one. And it is. So I guess I am going to continue tracking that one. Because, I, I mean, there should be a good sheep around here somewhere. And I might just well be on the tracks of it. But another 140s. 143 for this one. Got a double lung and shoulder blade shot. I think that's our best shot so far, at least. Well, I kind of gave up on the other one. And, I mean, this thing's here. So I guess I'll shoot it. There was a tiny male track, like 40 to 90, which obviously is not going to be anything too special, but that other one just looped so many times, I completely lost his tracks, and then I came over the hill, and this was standing here. And I have no idea how, but that was a body shot. It dropped anyway. I feel like I aimed pretty well there. I don't know how I possibly missed everything. Uh, but regardless, 9 meters away, apparently a body shot, shot is good enough. And somehow we have yet another 140 sheep down here by the bridge. So I guess we'll take him out, and eventually we should be able to find a male that is somewhat decent, I hope. But he is down there. There's a bunch of females up to the right that I saw. But other than that, nothing through here yet. But just a bunch of completely average sheep so far. But we'll grab this guy and continue our search for a better one. And 144 on this guy got him through the neck bone as well. I think that's the second one we've done that with. And again, I really didn't think that that's where my shot was placed. I don't know if I'm just not paying enough attention or if the hitboxes are a little bit off but regardless they're still going down i've managed to find a few more ptarmigan and i do think the closest one is the biggest yeah i'm pretty sure i mean he's a little bit closer but he looks a lot bigger than the other two so we're going to try to get him with the 22 and he okay i thought he was going to run there for a second i cannot believe the other ones aren't spooking i thought they would definitely uh fly away but this is the second time now that they've just stayed Alright, we got one flying away. And I think we killed four that time, so at least our chances of getting a somewhat decent whitetail ptarmigan, if the ones earlier weren't good, uh, maybe one of these will be. And is this one of them down here? I guess the first one we shot probably rolled down the hill, and it actually did. If I can actually claim it. 443 for this one, so that is the best one we've had thus far. And I need to see if I can find a way up here to the other ones that we had. That one, like I said, looked bigger than the others, so I expect these to all be smaller. Yeah, 380 on this one. That's kind of the score I expected to get on most of the ones that I was claiming. 398 on this one, and there was one more, I think, right? This one's a female at exactly 420, so I do think that 443 probably was a solid one. Well, at least I found one that wasn't in the 140s. This one will be barely 100 if it even makes that. 60 to 140 on the estimate. It's somehow max weight estimate, so... I mean, I can only hope the one I was tracking earlier, which was the same weight estimate, is not that big. Or, you know, maybe I can hope that it is that big and actually find it. But that one's down, we'll run over there and grab it. Got him through the spine, and he is a 91 score. So, kind of going in the wrong direction here, but I really hope we can get a 160. I thought it would be uh, pretty easy, but at this point, I don't know, we've shot seven sheep, I think, and seen a whole bunch more, and still no 160s. Another max weight track and another subpar male. 130 to 210 score estimate, but he's really nothing special. Uh, and I've been tracking him for a while, so that's a little bit unfortunate, but I do believe he's in the 140s once again. 
And I almost completely missed, but that was a spine shot. And I do hear a lot of fleeing sheep. And I guess it's possible that I shot the wrong one, though he did have uh, the max weight estimate. That looked like a somewhat decent male. Uh, that might be a 160. He's got a little more curl. And to be quite honest, it's worth the shot at this point. So if he stops, or if I can at least see him again. Alright, he's not going to stop, but I am going to mark that. Because I think at least he might have been... I know he wasn't 180, but I think he was probably 160s or close to it. But this definitely was the one that I've been tracking. You can see the track is lit up uh, right here, unless... Wait a minute. Oh. Nope, it wasn't. Probably the one that we spoke was the one I'm tracking. I How does this happen this much in one hunt? 144 for this guy. The good news is, apparently, I was tracking what I think was a better sheep. I'm not even sure, but I thought I saw a longer curl, which usually means... Uh, a somewhat decent sheep, so I'm going to sneak over this hill because he shouldn't be far. I guess this is probably the sheep that I saw, and I don't know, he doesn't look 160s from here. I also don't see a track from the one I've been following. Oh, okay, now I do. Alright, uh, he might not actually be a 160s. I hope he is. He does look a little bit bigger, but... I don't know, I'm not really sure. Uh, he is bigger, 153. I'd like a better one than that. I guess we'll hunt around... A little bit longer and see if we can find one, but 11 meters away, that's not bad. So after over 3 hours and nearly 17,000 meters, I have given up uh, on the Bighorn. We'll have to mount the 153 from this hunt, and then we'll go back another time and try to beat that. But we do have a wolf in front of us. I picked up the track. I wanted to get one more animal before we leave. It is max weight, and he just called uh, down here on the road. So we're going to try to take him with the 300. That's the only thing I have uh, still that I can take a wolf with. So that should be him barking, so it sounds like he's... Right there? That would be him. Oh, he looks actually really good. He's got like a huge head. 16 to 17, max weight. That's a good bet. Uh, their skull, I think, is how wolves are scored. Yeah, they're the same as bears. And he looked like he had an enormous skull. I don't want to jinx anything, but that might be a real monster wolf, which would be so lucky after that terrifyingly bad bighorn hunt we just had. But let's grab this guy and see. I really do think that might be my biggest wolf ever. Look at the size of the head on that guy. How can he not be huge? And yes, yeah, 16.811. That actually ties my personal best. And I do believe it had the same bit of a bug as my personal best. If we go into trophy shot mode, I'm pretty sure he actually does not have any eyes. He's just got like the eye sockets. And yeah, that's the case. And that's exactly what my other 16.811 had. But that's really lucky. We just had that guy after a pretty bad bighorn hunt. So I think we'll just get a quick trophy shot. Look at the size of the skull on that guy. That is just ridiculous. All right, that look that kind of looks stupid. Hold on, I gotta make that look less stupid. <laughs> I'm actually somewhat curious to see if he's gonna have eyes when he's mounted in the lodge. That still looks ridiculous. His head's just enormous compared to his body, but we'll see how that looks in the trophy lodge. He's getting mounted for sure. All right, he looks way better in the lodge. He's got eyes and his head doesn't look ridiculously huge, but if you're hunting for a big wolf, I think that's the way to tell if their head looks just enormous. It's probably a good scoring one. You can tell this guy's big, uh, but he definitely doesn't have the ridiculous skull he had in game, which I'm happy about. I think he looks a lot better in the lodge here. And then I did mount our two ptarmigan. Uh, which one? This 426 and the 443, had I not shot it on the ground, would actually be big enough to be the absolute bottom of the leaderboard, which I, I guess is... Not that big of an accomplishment, but it is a pretty good one, so 426 is not bad as well. And then I mounted uh, the 153 Bighorn, which was definitely the biggest disappointment of the hunt. We started for Bighorn, got nothing but a couple of decent ptarmigan and a huge wolf, but I guess that all worked out in the end. We'll have to do some more Bighorn hunting uh, next time we come here to Timbergold Trail. So with that, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, and I'll see you in the next one.